Hello English learners. My name is John. I am from the US in the Midwest and I'm a Camly tutor. Um, and today we're going to talk about figurative language. This one is on metonymy. Let's go. It's a colorful usage of words deviating from the conventional order. And the form I'm uh, covering today is called metonymy. So what is metonymy? So it's a literary device used to change the name of something like an institution, industry, person, uh, associating it with a meaning for a particular word. Now, why would you use this? Well, maybe uh, illustrate a situation, time of decision, exaggerate an idea or convey a meaning or perhaps evoke a response. Okay, here we go with a few examples. So the word we're going to use is dish. So instead of saying the chicken, potatoes, and soup are delicious, you can say this dish is delicious. Uh, pen. So a pen is used for writing, but we can use pen in another way. The pen will serve as the weapon of choice to change opinion as it is mightier than the sword. Uh, the next one, crown. The crown like a king wears on their head. It's uh, the place or position of a royal person or the actual crown, the headgear. Uh, we must hear from the crown before making any further decisions. Uh, the next one is ear. So we hear with our ears. But you can use it to talk to someone important, maybe. So I have the president's ear. Suits. You know, you dress up in a suit, suit and tie. Uh, we can use the word suit in, instead of saying business people, executives, or politicians. An example would be, the suits think they know what's best for us. The big house. Now, the big house is uh, in a, used instead of saying prison. And uh, An example, criminals will be sent to the big house to pay for their crimes. Silicon Valley. That's a popular term we all know. It's uh, referring to the tech industry. So Silicon Valley is pushing the limits of innovation. Hollywood, the film industry where, where all the movies are made, right? People follow trends that Hollywood sets. Uh, hand or hand. Uh, sometimes we use the word hand when we need help or we want to give somebody help. And uh, an example, there comes a time when people need a hand in their life. Brass is a metal, you know, kind of a shiny metal. Uh, it's also used to uh, talk about important people. The brass makes all of the decisions. New blood is sometimes referred to a new idea or new people. There's always room for new blood in our company. And the last one, nice wheels. It's a part of a car, but it actually means the whole car. So my friend buys a new car, I might say, hey, those are some pretty nice wheels. And uh, for those uh, unfamiliar with Cambly, Cambly is where you can have instant access to native English speakers. Cambly has a very flexible platform where you can take lessons anytime using various devices. You can schedule your next uh, session using the link in this, uh, this channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and good luck.